So the big question is this, is your attachment style pushing love away? Today, I share with you ways to heal your attachment styles for a healthier relationship. My name is Jonah Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances podcast, a love journey in black and white. Have you ever wondered why some relationships feel more secure and fulfilling than others? Well, it all comes down to our attachment styles, which shape how we relate to our partners. Understanding these styles can be really crucial in creating lasting, healthy connections. So let's dive into these styles and how they're formed and how you can heal for a love that lasts. You see, our attachment style developed in early childhood based on our interactions with our primary caregivers, typically our parents, profoundly influences how we relate to future partners or current partners. So there are four main styles. There's the secure attachment style. There's the anxious or preoccupied style. There's the dismissive or avoidant style. And then there's the fearful and avoidant style. Each one of these shapes our perception of a relationship and how we respond to intimacy. Let's start with the good news. If you have a secure attachment style, then congratulations to you. Not many people do. So you likely feel comfortable with closeness and you have trust in your partner's availability. You're good. Now we look at the anxious attachment style. These people might crave closeness, but at the same at the same time, fear being abandoned. So this leads to this false sense of insecurity where there's this constant panic between I want to be close, but again, I'm scared that if I get too close, you're going to abandon me. And then for people who have the dismissive, avoidant attachment style, there's usually a preference for independence. So There's always this lack of emotional intimacy. They struggle with being close to people, being vulnerable, really going all in in a relationship. So they they appear distant in the relationship. They they appear that like they're not fully invested in the relationship. And you can imagine what that could do for a partner who's trying to be with this person, but they're just uh, avoidant. Not because they want to, but again, it's just their attachment style. Then we have the fearful avoidance style, which combines the fear of being abandoned with the fear of closeness. So this creates this inner conflict that can be quite challenging to navigate in relationships, right? So those are the four different attachment styles. And the good news is that... Attachment styles are in set in stone. Like I said, they are mostly formed in your early days based on whatever interactions you had with your with your parents or your family members or people who were close to you. So with self-awareness and dedication, with committing to a healing process and journey, you can develop a more secure attachment style where you're relaxed and comfortable with your partner. So let's explore some of the steps that you can follow to help you heal from these attachment styles. So the three other attachment styles, not the secure one, because the goal is to be more secure in our styles. So the first one is usually to go down history lane, like go back to your early experiences in life. Understanding your history with where the attachment came from, where the style came from, and recognizing the patterns can really help you understand why you do the things you do or why you behave the way you do. So if you're someone who is always anxious, you want this closeness, you're craving it all the time, give me attention, give me attention, give me attention, then maybe it has to do with something in your childhood where you weren't getting that from your primary caregiver. So understanding that might help you start to heal from that so that you can move more towards a secure attachment style. So finding out where it came from, what was your childhood experience like, why it all happened, and is it still valid today? Probably not, right? But that's the beginning of the journey, the healing journey for you. 
The second way that you can try to get your healing is therapy. Therapy and counseling is really powerful and can be really transformative. Having a professional guide you to walk through and heal from your past wounds can really, really pave the way for healthier relationships. So if you've never been to therapy or considered it, maybe there's something in there. You should, there's something that you should explore, right? Especially if you're just becoming aware, you're seeing how these attachment styles are impacting your dating life where you can't move forward with your dating or you get into relationships and very quickly it's it's over. So consider seeing seeking therapy or counseling to help with that. Um, the third point is around prioritizing self-care. This is really, really essential, even for the secure attachment style people, for everyone. Self-care should always be a priority in your life. So make sure that you're engaging in things that nurture your emotional well-being, that fosters that self-love and that self-confidence and self-compassion in you so that you can be stronger inside of you and you don't have to react to some of these attachment styles. The fourth point is around having open communication with your partner. I know that for me, um, when I talk to Davide about my childhood trauma, I have um, I try to self-sabotage from time to time because the, the demons do show up. But he's aware of some of the struggles, my childhood trauma and the triggers. So when I'm triggered and I run back to being that little girl who's scared, who feels abandoned, well, he knows that that's what I'm going through and he can help me through it. He doesn't start reacting to to my reacting to my own triggers and my trauma. So being able to openly communicate with your partner is really, really key. You being able to express your needs and your emotions and you know, encouraging them to do the same is so key. It helps to build trust and understanding and is, is a good foundation for a, a healthy, secure relationship. So if you're able to talk about these things, then kudos to you. Say more, speak up more so that they understand what it is that you're, you're struggling with or you're going through. And the last point, which I think is probably the most important one, is really challenging your limiting beliefs. What are those negative self to those things that, are, that keep rambling in your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are they and how can you challenge them? Right? There's so many activities that you can do, but one of the better ones is positive affirmations. So really just having down, writing down some positive affirmations and just repeating them to yourself. Not just repeating them as words, but repeating them with conviction till you start to believe them can really, really help you get the the healing that you you deserve and you desire right? Once you start believing that I am deserving of love, I am worth it. Like I'm worthy. Why, why do I feel scared? Why do I have to be dismissive? Why do I have to be avoidant? Why do I have to be anxious? Right? Once you start really speaking these things and really believing it and it becomes your reality, then you naturally would shift more to a secure attachment style. So, Regardless of your style, fostering a secure attachment involves consistent effort. First of all, you need self-awareness, but then it now requires consistent effort, you having clear, open communication in your relationship, and also setting healthy boundaries for yourself. The more you understand yourself and you engage in self-reflection, so you're not lying to yourself or trying to hide. You're, you're having the self-reflection that you need to. You tell yourself the truth and you, you work on it. You can unlock the door to secure lasting love because that's what we all want and deserve. So remember, just again, like I mentioned, therapy can be a really, really powerful tool in this journey. So explore it, try it out and see if it's something that can help you. Understanding yourself better and transforming the way you, you are or the way you think or the way you connect with people will pave the way for a beautiful relationship and it will allow people come into your life effortlessly without this attachment style pushing them away. So that's it, the four attachment styles and how you can heal from them. Thanks for listening to today's episode on the Second Chances podcast, E-Love Journey in Black and White. Till next time, sending you love and light.